Welcome to class one, unit one, segment four of level one certificate in Christian ministry. Today, we're going to look into the new covenant. Let's turn our Bibles to Galatians chapter three, verse seven. The Bible reads, understand then that those who have faith are children of Abraham. Scripture foresaw that God would justify the Gentiles by faith and announced the gospel in advance to Abraham. All nations will be blessed through you. So those who rely on faith are blessed by Abraham, the man of faith. For all who rely on the works of the law are under a curse. As it is written, cursed is everyone who does not continue to do everything written in the book of the law. Clearly no one who relies on the law is justified before God because the righteous will live by faith. Verse 12, the law is not based on faith. On the contrary, it says, the person who does these things will live by them. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is everyone who is hung on a pole. He redeemed us in order that the blessing given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, so that by faith we might receive the promise of the Spirit. This is a very dense section of passage, and let's unpack it carefully. If you remember from the previous video, we looked at two types of covenant. The first one is a royal grant. This section of passage makes sense when we look at it from the lens of the royal grant. In other words, God's covenant faithfulness. In Galatians 3 verse 8, it says, All nations will be blessed through you. This is referring to the promise God made to Abraham in Genesis 12, that through him will come a people through whom all nations will be blessed. But there's a problem, right? And the problem is highlighted in Galatians 3 verse 11. Clearly no one who relies on the law is justified before God. Clearly, and Apostle Paul is writing, saying, the people of God, Israel, through whom God was going to make this promise come true, the promise of all nations being blessed, they themselves couldn't keep God's covenant. In Galatians 3 verse 13 is the answer. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. And this is referring to the covenant curse that God says will happen when God's people didn't keep the covenant. So Jesus did for us what we cannot do for ourselves. And that is how God's royal grant, God's promise to rescue all nations has been fulfilled. And so when we talk about the new covenant, it is so essential for us to start with King Jesus. New covenant is God's unconditional covenant faithfulness in and through Jesus Christ. Now let's continue with this line of thinking. So as we spoke about two types of covenant in the last video. We see the royal grant, but what about the suzerain vassal or the conditional type? So it's both. There is the unconditional part, God's part, that God fulfills in and through Jesus' death and resurrection. And he invites us to be partners, to be relational partners in covenant relationship where we obey the covenant requirements. That's the conditional part. So let's turn to Colossians 1, for example, verse 22. But now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy in his sight without blemish and free from accusation if you continue in your faith established and firm and do not move from the hope held out in the gospel. This is the gospel that you heard and that has been proclaimed to every creature under heaven and of which I, Paul, have become a servant. Did you pick up on the conditional if? And if you remember from the previous video, is the similar flavor, if then. This is not just merely individual, as much as it is, it's also communal. That is why when we serve our Bible talks, our family groups, our church, we are calling both ourselves and others to covenant faithfulness. Here's some reflection questions from the session. What did you learn? from the session? What convictions are being formed inside you? How does New Covenant affect your particular family group or Bible talk that you're part of? 
Look forward to seeing you in our next video. We'll begin with Unit 2, Old Testament Survey. Till then, God bless you and thank you for watching.